Live from across the tri-states, this is KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. Well, Kristen Aguirre joins us live right outside the studio this morning, and it is smelling good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kristen, what's going on? Good morning. Well, this morning I am showing you the latest place to get a quick bite to eat in the Tri-States, but it has nothing to do with a drive through We'll dive into everything coming up after the break. You're watching KHQA This Morning. Samagiri is out on the KHQA patio this morning with some food. Hey, Kristen. Good morning. That's right. I am. We are talking food. We're talking fast food, but it doesn't involve a drive through and it's more of a cuisine. With me now is Kevin Minnick, and he is the owner of Main Course in Quincy, but now we have a new... Yeah, hello, little, hello, a, mobile Yeah, so tell us well. a little bit about it. Uh, the Quick Horse, it's something that's quick and easy. It's a food truck. Um, when we first started, it was... We braised all our locally local beef, local pig, uh, and some chicken. However, we just put some mobile cooking devices in it too. So we're doing four ounce burgers, fish tacos became very, very popular in the last week, two weeks. So we can actually cook on the truck as well. Now this is relatively new. You guys just kicked it off just about three weeks ago, right? Yeah, three, four weeks ago. So what made you decide to bring this food court, uh, food truck kind of business to Quincy? It's always been something that I have found interest in. And, uh, the truck came about and so I went with it. Tell us a little bit about this truck. What did this used to be? <clears throat> An old FedEx truck from Omaha, Nebraska, actually. And so what did you guys do to revamp this? Because you would I would never think that. I mean, once you said that, I could see the shape of everything, but I mean, it's right. so cool. Um, it was used as a mobile food vending service, um, oh, okay. as like a little mobile coffee thing. So we had a lot of the essentials that we needed for the health, health uh, department regulations. Perfect. So tell us a little bit about the food that you're serving up in here. We're doing uh, braised local beef. We bring in the whole cow, butcher it ourselves, and we braise it all for the truck. Um, pork, braised pork, fish tacos, burgers. Um, you can do it a million different ways. It's kind of, you choose protein, what do you want it on, and what else? I will this else morning, we are going to give so. you an inside look at what you can get when you are here at the main course and where you could stop by and get a little quick bite to eat with them. Coming up all later in the show. The oh. little city girl in me, he said they bring the whole cow in. Yeah. How big is the truck if they're, <laughs> they're butchering the animal, cooking it up? I'm sure. I think they I think they do that at a different point. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. Might need a bigger venue. <laughs> you can check out Kristen Aguirre, who is live outside our studio this morning with the main course here in Quincy. You don't have to drive to Scranton to see Kristen Aguirre this morning. <laughs> That's right. I did not have to travel far this morning to get a quick bite to eat. We are introducing you to Quincy's and the Tri-State's latest food truck called the Quick Course. And with me now is owner and executive chef Kevin Minnick. Now, Kevin, you also own the main course here yes. in town. Um, and when did you kick off this food truck? It was probably about three, four weeks ago, mm -hmm. something like that. We've had it for a about a month and a half, a couple months before that, doing some renovation. Right, and so what did you do to this truck? So we touched a little bit about this earlier, but what exactly was this truck before, and what did you have to do to it to give it the, the quick course touch? Well, uh, we tried to keep things simple, first of all, and the best thing is it was a, uh, a coffee truck in Omaha, Nebraska. Mm -hmm. So um, best things about it is we have a generator that's uh, hooked up straight to the gas tank. We have uh, a three-well sink, uh, washer and sanitized, and a hand sink as well. So we can technically do anything on here. And the best thing is we just added induction burners, which heat up pans in probably about 10 seconds to about 500 degrees. So we can cook on the spot cooked burgers, fish tacos, like I mentioned before. So when people are ordering from this menu right here, you are mm -hmm. cooking it up right inside. A couple of them, yeah. We, we braise the beef and the pork uh, overnight at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, we keep that at 154 degrees. Um, and then you just tell us what you want it on. Chips, bun, tacos, or lettuce. So kind of fast food, but with a cuisine twist. You got it. And everything's house made except for the bread and that kind of stuff and the chips. All right, we, well, do we are going to continue to show you everything that you can expect when you get a quick bite to eat with a quick course. Now, if you have any questions or if you've eaten there and you want to tell me a little bit about your experience, tweet me out at Chris City Gear or find me on Facebook. I'll take some nice lamb for my morning breakfast. <laughs> some lamb. Ooh, yeah, those fish tacos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't I've heard I about them. I, they sound delicious and I need to get my little claws on them. Deal. Not quite the main course. It's kind of a little extra side of the main course. It is called the quick course. And we're talking about the newest inside. You say it's a little bit tight in here, but yeah, I think it's, it's perfect. perfect. Yeah. I have heels on and I still don't reach the ceiling. How do you yeah. guys cook in here? 
Uh, it's a, usually a two-man operation. We do sometimes run it with one. Um, everything is designed and set up for ease and efficiency. Um, best thing is we have a beverage cooler here. We have our uh, produce cooler and then uh, produce and some proteins and we cook the order. And we have a couple things that we kind of scoop and go that we heat up and cook um, overnight at the restaurant and then uh, we heat up every day and uh, serve that way. So Pretty. the main course is kind of known for its uh, French American cuisine. Now did uh -huh. you decide, uh, how did you decide on picking what <clears throat> menu items you wanted to serve out through the quick course? Mainly um, efficiency, honestly. And I want to give a, 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 an array of options um, to help everybody else choose of having a quick lunch. Instead of getting a sandwich every single time, let's do some different things. Yeah, let's give a little bit of variety. And right. we are going to show you that variety coming up a little bit later on the show. I'm finally going to get my hands dirty and we're going to get to some cooking. Mmm, get to some cooking burgers and lamb and fish tacos. Fish tacos. I know she keeps mentioning, mentioning that fish tacos. Whatever you want, I yes. guess. Nagiri is live outside of our studio this morning cooking up something good. Yeah, she's a. Uh, with kind of the main course, we'll say. So the main course comes yep, to the it a it's kind of like a quick little bite of the main course. It is their newest food truck to hit the tri-state area. And so we are getting a taste of what they can, what you can pick up at the quick course. So right now we are making up some fish tacos. So Kevin, what do we have going on here? Now this is a very small yep. kitchen, so I'm sure there's hardly any move to <laughs> move around. But um, so we have our fish here. What kind of fish do you guys? Serve? It's a uh, ocean perch, Atlantic Ocean perch. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just turned that on when he started talking, and it's already ready to cook. So we have induction burners here, which is really great. It uh, heats up super fast, and we're already cooking. So How are you working here with the two people? Are you just we have so fast? yeah, we have one cook and then one takes orders and serves and drinks and sides and all that other stuff. So. so we are cooking up, when people order these fish tacos, they're getting them cooked right on the spot for you guys. Right. It doesn't take long. I think we just had some flour tortillas here as well. Yeah, some flour tortillas. We have some lime mayonnaise. I know it sounds kind of weird, but honestly, with tacos, it's delicious. Just a little bit of that. I'm going to go ahead and throw the cheese down. A little bit on both. We have some pineapple heirloom tomato salsa. Ooh, that looks Local awesome. onions. Like I said, um, we, we try to stay as local as we can and support everybody around town. Right. The produce is absolutely phenomenal this time of the year. Um, so why not benefit from it? Some right. raw red onion. And then we finish cooking up that, that purse and then it goes right on top. Yep. All right, well, we are gonna go, go, continue go. to plate up this fish here and um, don't worry. Guys, I will taste it for you and let you know how it is. So in case you're wondering, mm -hmm. don't worry, I'll I'll taste it. So Touch Shannon, go. Don't worry, I'm, I have your back. Yeah, yeah. Your back. <laughs> we know where you are. And we're very far. She's just outside of the kitchen. We're down at the parking lot. She is here with a quick course this morning. What you up to, Kristen? And I can hear you. We are live right outside of our studio, and we are talking the quick course, the latest food trucks to hit the tri-state. Now, earlier we made you some fish tacos. They look amazing. I can't believe I helped it off this long. We wanted to show you the finished product before I sink my teeth into that. But if fish isn't your thing, Kevin, what are we cooking up now? A little uh, house ground local gr uh, beef uh, burger. All right, so. I just assembled a, on a bun, house-made pickles, honey mustard, and lettuce. Um, I just dropped it. I'm going to flip it in one second. It'll be done. That's as simple as that. So every time I think this is such a good idea that every time people are coming here and they're ordering, you guys are cooking it up right on the top of Yeah, some of it. Like I said, we have braised products as well, but the burger and the fish tacos, you know it's going to be um, fresh and cooked to order, and that's, that's the way to do it. And uh, this is also a great way for people to get a little bit of taste of what you serve up at the main course. Absolutely. And at the main course and on the food truck, we like to have fun with the food. We like we like to keep it local um, and experiment with the flavors of the natural products that we can get. And being in Corn Belt, right in the middle, um, is very accessible. So this uh, is done. Ooh, it's finished. It's finished. Uh-oh, there it is. Cameraman Mark is salvating. Final look at this. Burger and chips, there That's you go. That's how fast it is. Ready in only minutes. Now, this is yeah. definitely another look at some fast food that you can get. Now, what is the next place you guys are going to be at serving this up? Um, today is what, Friday? Friday. Friday, we're at the Potted Fern, 12th and Spring. Uh, come in, grab a quick bite, and you can go inside and get a tea, too, because it's delicious there. All right, well, we're
we're going to continue to show you what the quick course can offer you. For more information on everything, you can check out our website, connecttristates.com. All right, what an awesome idea. Thanks, Kristen. This morning long, we've been following Kristen and Gary, not too far from home. She is just outside Ooh. of the KGA studios uh, with a different outlook on the main course. Hey, Kristen. That's right. We are showing you their latest food truck. It's called the Quick Course, and it was actually an old FedEx truck that you guys kind of revamped, right, Kevin? Yep. Simple. <laughs> Kept it. It had, a, it had a lot of the stuff that we needed to operate. Now, it's a little different with ordinances. I can't park on the street, so we park on private properties um, because we serve out of the back of the truck. It's not very safe to serve. So tell us a little street. bit about where you, uh, some of the places that people can come and check out some of the delicious food you guys are going to be serving uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're at the Potted Fern from 11.30 to about 1. Um, Tuesday, Thursday, uh, and Wednesday night out at Napide. Um, we are making a few adjustments on that schedule. Next week we're going to be out at Shadow CrossFit off North 18th, Tuesday and Thursday for lunch um, service. Um, and we're always looking for new interesting places. Hopefully we can come back to KHQA and serve uh, people here as well. I am time. totally up for that. Now for so. people just tuning in really quick, we would love to show you some food, but unfortunately cameraman Mark and I got a little bit hungry. Yeah. What are some of the food that you serve up? Uh, braised pork, braised uh, beef. We do fresh fish tacos. That changes all the time. And we do a little four ounce uh, local house ground burger. And Simple. It Delicious. Now, for more information on the quick course and where you can check it out, don't forget to check out our website, connecttristates.com, to get a little sneak peek of how they're cooking things up. Check out our YouTube page. You know, you guys ate everything. Could have saved a little bit. And poor for us. Kevin was like, yeah, yeah, thanks for, you know, putting I, me in debt. I tried. I have no self control. Well, I'm if he stays saying. here, we'll actually pay him for the yeah, food we want. If, he, if there's any food left, if they didn't <laughs> eat it all.